folks. Uh, today's topic is about premature bit. So, what is premature bit? Types of extrasystole features and management. So, actually, premature bit, <coughs> my beloved students, premature, uh, also known as premature contraction, premature complex, are ab abnormal extra bit, heartbeat that occur ec extra, that is earlier earlier than expected in the cardiac cycle. <coughs> so these beats can originate from various locations within the heart's electrical system and can be of different types. So extra bit can be origin can be in a atria, even more, it can be in sinus, it's so-called sinus arrhythmia. So difference between normal sinus rhythm and sinus arrhythmia that when we talk about normal sinus rhythm we talked about uh, presence of P before every QRS so sinus arrhythmia is the same P before every QRS but rhythm is irregular so in case of sinus arrhythmia actually the if the origin is in a sinus it's so called normal topic normal topic because topic is normal sinus region is normal but rhythm is irregular so what <coughs> what is a clinical issue of that why well, repeat it it's very important to uh, to remember when we talk about ecg we have to answer three principal questions three main questions so first what's happening electrically so how to understand that for example we see sinus arrhythmia on ecg secondly we have to answer what's happening uh, physiologically what does it mean physiologically uh, in the level of the organs and uh, finally what is a clinical issue of that <coughs> and uh, my beloved sinus arrhythmia in vast majority of cases so electrically ah, okay electrically we see p before every qrs so everything is like normal ecg that is p before every qrs pq is normal qrs complex are normal nothing happening only one discriminating feature from the my beloved from the normal sinus rhythm it's a uh, irregularity so physiologically we see heartbeats, symmetric and synchronized contractions, but the rhythm is irregular. Clinical issue of that is actually nothing, because sinus arrhythmia very often we see in absolutely healthy subjects, especially youngsters, uh, child in uh, children and young persons, especially <coughs> emotional persons, uh, ladies, young ladies. Uh, so clinical issue of that we do nothing. Sinus arrhythmia will disappear in time, with aging, if you will. Uh, in absolutely vast majority of cases, we do nothing in cases of sinus arrhythmia. Yes, there is. we have to remember and we have to tell about that, say about that, uh, that uh, there is a gold exception in all rules, that anything that happens acute or sudden on ECG needs our attention. So we have to be careful. Acute or sudden changes, we need our attention. What else? So, normal topic arrhythmia, we uh, talk about sinus arrhythmia and ectopic. Ectopic origin can be, that is out of sinus. So, can be in atria. That is a PAC, P A C, premature atrial complex or premature atrial beat. Or just extra system. That's yeah, a correct, no, it's correct. Tradition name extra system. Extra is out of order, huh? premature. Uh, if it's in atria, we have three features on ECG. No, of course we have to draw it. Huh? If a professor of a jury, for example, me, tell me, say you, can you draw it on ECG? Now on a paper, it will be great if you can. So try to draw. Huh? So premature bit is premature. If it's an origin, ectopic origin is in atria. What's happening? So we see first of all an unusual, unusual P wave, because it's not from SA note, unusual P. It doesn't be different types. It can, might be uh, negative. It might be uh, invisible even. It might be double shaped. It might be positive, negative. Doesn't matter. So we have to discriminate from. It's unusual, not like from a regular SA node P. 
So first, unusual P. Second, nothing happened with QRS. Nothing happened with QRS depolarization, the depolarization of the, uh, the ventricle, sorry. And, uh, nothing happened with contraction of the ventricle, so everything's fine. Because for AV node, it doesn't matter where from comes the signal. Principle is the above. Above is atria. And uh, we have a so-called incomplete compensatory pose. So we have three features, three features of uh, premature atrial contraction, PEC. This is unusual P, normal QRS, and incomplete compensatory pose. What is clinical issue of that? Actually nothing. In the vast majority of cases is nothing at all. Absolutely nothing at all. So we do nothing. And finally, another types of ectopic origin, of ectopic uh, origin of this premature bit of or extrasystole, if, for example, uh, we have a ectopic origin in one of the ventricles. And what do we have? Of course, absence of P. Why we do not have P? Because first contracts ventricles. Then we have of a so-called aberrant QRS, aberrancy, huh? completely pathological QRS, double-shaped, and complete compensatory pulse. <sighs> Clinical issue of that, so physiologically, of course, uh, it's not a normal contraction, absolutely not normal contraction, and uh, uh, clinical issue of that, it, that is, uh, no, now it's a different points of view, but around this five, seven thousand extra beats, premature ventricular beats per uh, 24 hours is nothing at all, even more in between us. But you say 5,000 extra beats ventricular extrasystole is per, uh, per 5, 7,000. So per, if we check up by altar, of course, in 24 hours is nothing at all because actually this so called uh, heart rate variability happens and it's uh, nothing at all. So, how to understand this diff is dangerous or not? So, if the, these types of arrhythmia disappears during uh, physical activity, means that is not dangerous extrasystole at all. But if extrasystole doesn't, uh, if they are plural, don't it disappear uh, during physical exercise, during stress test, during, not after. It's a dangerous one, very dangerous one. So, we do nothing with premature ventricular contractions. So this large is sufficient for premature atrial beat. My beloved, God bless you on the big exams, on the state exams. See you in another lectures.